getting up close and personal. Dental school staff at the University of Otago are giving their new lab a test run ahead of the arrival of this year's students. They've been moved into the former children's pavilion, so the $126 million dental school redevelopment project can begin. We've fitted out the space to house the, the um, occupants of the West Wing, so that includes the departments of oral sciences and oral rehabilitation, and the simulation lab here, which you can see, which is the, um, the lab used uh, for students to study their skills without, uh, without using live patients. Dental students will be in the new lab in just a few days, with the academic year commencing next week. While Jekin says it's a push to get the lab ready in time, staff using the space are confident that the aspiring dentists will find it good to go. The students can expect to come in and find all the same equipment, all the same uh, level of service, the same tutors. They can pretty much walk in and pick up where they left off last year. The demolition of the Barningham building located near the school's car park is complete. In accordance with legal requirements from Heritage New Zealand, an in-house team is carrying out an archaeological investigation of the site. It's a process that will be ongoing, particularly as further demolition work looms. Now that we've emptied the west wing of the occupants, we can progress with the demolition. So that should be commencing um, hopefully kind of mid-March. Um, the demolition of the west wing and, and some ancillary buildings around the, the the, uh, around the school and that really makes way for the for the building of the new clinical services building which is the main kind of uh, new build of the, of the project. The demolition of the Walsh building's west wing is scheduled to be complete by the middle of the year. Construction will begin on the new clinical services building shortly after with the aim of having it up and running by the first semester of 2018. Ruby McAndrew, 39 Dunedin News.